Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, another Sunday get ready with me and a life update. I quit my job. But I just wanted to give you a call because I am going to be sending you my letter of resignation in a little bit. I'm so happy. So I'm going to get right into the getting ready because as always, um, actually I didn't wake up late today. I just spent a lot of time just laying in my bed. That's not helpful. So let's chat. Let's talk about me leaving my job. Um, and just all the things. So I quit my job. I've been there for a little over five years. I started working there before I finished um, college, before I finished my degree. My plan was never to stay there long term. I never planned on being there for five years. I planned on staying there until I graduated and until I found a different full-time graphic designer job and that did not happen. After I graduated, I applied to so many jobs. I had tons of interviews, tons of follow-up interviews, tons of interviews where I had to submit work, tons of interviews where I actually came in and just a, so much. Nothing came out of all of it. I, I learned how to, I can do an interview really well now. That's what I got out of that. I have great interview skills. And yeah that's about it so this year i really decided i needed to leave there's just a lot there and i just wanted to do something else it would have been really great if i could you know do, do this full time but we're not making any money with this fill up my car with gas and so i kind of decided i was going to leave whether i found a new job or not which seems a little a little reckless a little um not smart but i kind of had i had so much peace with that decision and the second i made that decision not the second i made once i made that decision it was figuring out when i was going to actually leave figuring out a date once i figured out a date and i really committed to leaving in my heart in my mind everything you know and even pray to god for like peace about it because um, remember i'm still applying to different jobs at this point i did take a little break last year but at this point i'm still applying to jobs and right now i'm applying to any job because i'm just like okay maybe graphic designing is not the career move maybe it's doing something else and that can be something i do on the side i kind of just like decided i was just gonna apply to anything once i decided i was going to officially put in my time off and i had the date as the date got closer like the week before i put my time in i was applying to some jobs two days before i put in my my notice that i was leaving i got an interview the next day got the job offer the next day i put in my notice so it's just amazing how god works and how god just takes care of us because even if i didn't get a job right away if god had not provided a job had not opened those doors i was still planning on leaving and i was still planning on depending on god on how all this would work like praying that you know he would make a job available make um some sort of income happen for me because you know we got bills we have payments that need to be made and so yeah so i started my new job officially this week this past week this past week was one full week at my new job and that's a story for another day but i'm very grateful nothing bad nothing bad at all i'm so grateful to have a job to have something that i can do i had some time off in between the two so i was able to film not as much as i wanted to but i have a lot of stuff and it's mostly because i have a lot of things that take multiple days to film so it just took forever but you guys should be seeing a lot more content because i'm gonna be ahead for a while which is good because 
my new schedule is kind of crazy so we'll see how that works I'm trying to think if there's anything else i wanted to say about the whole new job so that's basically the situation with me so my whole schedule is going to change it's going to definitely be an adjustment it's already been an adjustment because as you guys know with my other job i worked from home so yeah i would literally just roll out of bed and start working and that is not the case anymore that is definitely going to be an adjustment getting on a schedule waking up going to work and i'm doing something completely different this time maybe we'll chat about it a different time just trying to protect my privacy a little bit more um so that is the plan with that um and then I also wanted to chat a little bit about the moody commentary, but I'm going to finish my makeup first because we're on a time crunch here, as we are always. All right, makeup is done trying to figure out where everything goes um i do need to do this hair but that can wait a moment i did want to chat a little bit about ugh, the moody commentary i've been using this for a few weeks now and i'm actually really enjoying it it's kind of like a a mix of a commentary study bible and like my life application bible it has a lot of information within the bible like um, profiles different things like that but a lot of the information at the bottom is all applicable how you can apply it to life how it's applied um, to situ different situations different relationships and i feel like this one does a really good job at that it it's kind of set up more it's easy to read um so there's like paragraphs and the bolded parts are part of the scripture um whereas like the bible knowledge commentary it's kind of broken down verse by verse it's more like here's the verse broke it down um and this one's more of like a here's the section with the verses in it or the paragraphs kind of like how it's broken up in the bible hopefully that makes sense but i'm really enjoying it i do like it and i've been using it for a little bit it's kind of nice to have everything in one to have everything in one book and and just kind of use that um i still do want to eventually buy a another multi-volume commentary but when that will happen i don't know so i'm gonna go finish getting my hair done not my hair done get doing my hair um and then we can i'll show you guys what i'm gonna bring to church kind of pack my bag with you guys and then we can kind of go from there As usual, I will be bringing my ESV Interleave Journaling Bible. Every other page is blank. This is always linked in my description box, but there is another one that's hardcover, not leather bound, which I believe is cheaper. So if you're wanting this Bible, I say just watch it on um, Amazon and see if the price goes down. My church notebook I will be bringing too. I also found a whole, like, I have a whole shelf shelf filled with just church notebooks so if you guys would like to see me go through all my church notes and like just kind of share with you guys how i used to take notes what i did like kind of all the phases i've been through and maybe we'll see something interesting because i also want to like tab all my notes because i want to use them as a resource so my pastors typically will preach either topical or based on the books like they'll go through a book so i think it would be nice to have all that stuff together so if you guys would like to see that let me know because i can film that so there's this i've honestly not been bringing like my actual church bag with me just because then i just have so many things that i'm bringing with me and i'm already enough i will grab some highlighters i've as like i feel like the past couple months i've really been enjoying my mild liners so let me just show them to you. I've been enjoying the chisel tip ones too, because typically I like the brush tip ones, but that's not what I've been using. I've been using these and I have a bunch of colors. I've been enjoying like the more bold 
colors and yeah not the like pale pastel -y colors i was enjoying before and then i'm using my mr pen micro no what's it called mr pen multi-liner it's a fine liner tip very similar to the micron pens so this is everything that i'm bringing to church just like this i will so that's what i'm so that's what i'm taking to church i have to put some shoes on and get going but i'll bring you guys along we'll see how things go and yeah and then we'll chat after church so <laughs> It is so loud outside, I'm so sorry. But I'm back and I figured I would close out this video since I don't think I did earlier. But yeah, but if you guys like this type of video um, where I'm just getting ready, Sundays, things like that, um, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see besides Bible recaps because that's what we're doing for the rest of the year into next year because we still got a lot of the Bible to get through and yeah let me know what you guys would like to see and subscribe if you aren't already i feel like i never say that in my videos but if you would like to support my channel please subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one